Hello everybody! Happy 8th of March guys! Happy 8th of March! Well, it's for girls, but I want to wish happy 8th of March for everybody. I want to uh, show my beautiful flowers. This is exactly what to do, the, what you do, what you send a lady on a special day, 8th of March. By the way, in Ukraine, people love, uh, women love flowers so much. Yes, showing off, guys, Gino, Dave. Dave, check out my beautiful flowers. They are from one wonderful man. <laughs> so guys, uh, I want to remind you that Ukrainian women love flowers so much that even women give flowers to women on 8th of March, on birthday. You know, it's a big part of our culture and it's a delightful part. It's, it's, you know, it's so, it's so, so fun. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna keep them here. It's gonna be the the rose life. I'm behind the roses, but I want to say uh, I I want to actually say thank you to all the men that um, always find time to acknowledge wonderful women in their life, including their mothers, their sisters, maybe even their ex-wives, <laughs> their daughters, uh, everybody who matter. In Ukraine, um, that's beautiful tradition. You know, it actually comes from <laughs> from the Soviet times. Uh, it was more about uh, you know women's rights back in time. But then uh, it turned to uh, more of a celebration of women, beauty, and spring, which is absolutely wonderful. And also right now uh, there are some things, some things are going on with the politics and Ukraine is trying to say, well, Russia, we don't need your, your holidays, you know, but our women are not agreeing with that. Nobody can stop the celebration, you know, it's in our blood. So <laughs> as far as I know, uh, you know, we aren't going to give up the holiday. No, thank you. So, just to talk a little bit more about, for you guys to understand, it's similar somewhat to, I would say, to Mother's Day. It's something in between Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. And except it applies to all the women, small women, big women, little women, old women, young women. And, you know, it is beautiful because, it is beautiful because, some women do not get acknowledged so often and um, it is wonderful to uh, get that even if it's once a year i wish to to everyone you know who's listening to me to have a have wonderful relationship with your women so they feel loved and respected every day it's a hard work but um it's a hard work but it pays off and i i truly believe that you know the ladies should do the same thing for their man sometimes we forget appreciation both genders do that uh gino is saying it's most important holiday for all women in ukraine yes it is it is the most important holiday for all women in ukraine uh billy saying happy women's day veronica thank you billy and Dave, special thank you to you today. So, I would like to uh, tell you guys a little bit about, a little bit more about the um, language of love called gifts. What is that, that Ukrainian women are so, you know, gifts seem to be um, playing such a special role. Is it materialism or is it some kind of romance? Is it what is that? And today I do not really want to talk about women who are kind of um, materialistic gold digger style. I want to talk about beautiful women that inspire the world, that make your blood going, <laughs> that that excite, that are, you know, 
bringing beauty to everybody and that I just you know uh, women with a big uh, W <laughs> that's kind of women I want to talk today about I think gifts are symbols and you know flowers are symbol of lightness of beauty of love of feelings uh, of just natural adorable symbol so uh, there is no surprise that uh, you know women love flowers that they love beauty it's kind of like an inspirational mood creative things but most of all flowers are the symbol of your feelings just like the other gifts and it's kind of all together the thoughtfulness the appreciation, the symbol. I will put an example. Sometimes when, let's say, I've got a perfume that I really love and a friend of mine or somebody special gives me the same perfume, beautifully packed, same thing, uh, same bottle, same, you know, same designer, whatever it is. Which bottle do you think I'm going to cherish the most? The one that I just got on sale or <laughs> something like that? Or the one that is very beautifully wrapped and signed and given to me? There is some hidden power in those things, in those symbols. It's like another expression of love. That's why gifts are uh, gifts are the love language. So uh, I will definitely cherish the the one that was given, even if I have the same one. There is something about it. There is something you know about the power of of giving, of expressing. It's almost like there is this little magic uh, inserted, <laughs> like incremented in that gift. And it gives you extra powers. There is certain kind of energy, uh, the thoughtfulness and the love and all all of that. So, and it's a reminder of that person. It's all together. So, don't be shy to give gifts to the right women. We talked. Ab we talk about the scamming. We talk about the material women. Yes, that's a different experience. But when you give the gifts to the right woman, it's a uh, really gift for two because um, the joy that you experience when you give a gift is like absolutely incredible. I don't, uh, I wonder what you guys think about this. I feel that uh, in some ways uh, giving the gifts is uh, such a, such a blessing because the amount of happiness it's kind of doubles that whole experience and it's just so exciting to make a surprise for somebody and and just i really feel that giving gifts in some ways uh in many ways is extremely satisfying and joyful especially when it goes to somebody that you love is all of your heart and it's mutual i totally understand that it's nice when it's mutual so it's kind of it's just like a big smile, you know, it's just like you make someone's heart smile. And let me go a little bit to just history, to just some, um, how shall I say this? Why, particularly in Ukrainian culture, it's such a big thing. And I would, I would really refer to a generation of women uh, who are in their... I would say 40s and 30s um, especially when back in USSR time we had such a limited sometimes ch choice of things we didn't have enough you know we grew up you know those kids like me who grew up in like 90s uh, we were going through the economy crash so one system uh, was broken the other system wasn't built so we had moments when we just we were not our parents were not necessarily poor I mean they were 
doctors and engineers but in 90s uh, everything had crashed and so uh, it became a huge everything became a huge deficit so like women uh, of my generation a little bit younger and a little bit older kind of like uh, who were born in those times we just didn't get enough of of those uh, uh, beautiful you know feminine um, material things but we don't look at them as a material things we look at them as something that helps us express our sexuality our femininity and our beauty <laughs> like for example it's a you know beautiful dress makeup perfumes I don't know shoes um purses you guys maybe look at this like a piece of material or a piece of uh, i don't know some some merchandise we look at this as an inspiration and accentuation of our beauty and you know kind of the the creativity and self-expression and all that stuff that you would never think about that's what goes through a woman's mind when she see uh, it's a kind of like a playing the game uh you know the the femininity um <laughs> Ruslan, <are> you okay yeah <laughs> the femininity thing uh, so <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> Uh, my son is behind the scene, this uh, scenes. He is trying not to cough. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. He was sick for a couple of days, but things are going much better here, and uh, he's getting better. So what I was talking about? Yes. So one of the reasons for particular Ukrainian, Russian, and all post USSR women to be so sensitive and so excited about you know a new pair of shoes or a dress is that we had so little so little and it's kind of that part didn't get satisfied there is certain hunger to you know being able to put a new dress or new earrings or you know it just kind of um i don't know what to compare that with but i hope it will give you an idea we just didn't have enough of that and um if to look at the gifts not so much from the the gaining perspective or material perspective there is some spiritual things about them there is some inspiring things about them like for example i'm uh, personally i drawn to beautiful design and art and uh, i love beauty i have certain certain aesthetic taste and for somebody somebody would see things in the house where i live and say my gosh, why do you need this stuff? But when I look at this stuff, it gives me energy because I see the creativity and the beauty in it. Like, it's kind of thing, that kind of thing. It's, I guess it's like tools for the guys or something. <laughs> Except like, I personally don't see any beauty in the tools. But I know men take pride in, in their tools and their equipment and... So it's somewhat similar, I guess. You kind of feel your manhood when you got the coolest to toys, uh, toys, uh, well, toys too, but uh, tools. Uh, you probably feel that, hey, you know, I am a man. Look what I got here. I can fix everything. So it's similar just for the feminine energy. It's not, um, I'm not talking today about overly consuming or showing off or brands or people who um put things over the the p is the people who put material things over the people or love it's not that it's just that it makes it fun i remember now the most important thing it just makes it fun it's like you know balloons what is the point of having balloons they create the mood they create of uh, an atmosphere you know those like uh, fun party balloons and decorations they just create the celebration the celebrative mood that's all there is to it 
So that is, you know, some of the aspects of uh, love language. It's a, it's a really big love language in Ukraine. And again, once again, I do believe it because we had such a hard uh, story, a history. There was a lot of times we, you, you need to wait for the whole year to get a new dress. Uh, I remember being probably about 12 years old and I had one pretty dress. It was light blue light blue kind of was matching my eyes <laughs> and it had a little white polka dot and it had some lace and that was my only uh special occasion dress and i felt like i was the richest girl on the planet i was always wearing my light blue polka dot white polka dot dress with uh, beautiful em embroidered sleeves and I felt like, like a princess in that dress. And I didn't, I wasn't upset that I only have one dress because I thought that's how it is. You only have one special occasion dress. But I think inside of me, I probably was dreaming about having and enjoying some uh, more luxury things. And it's kind of ironically, because right now, some of you guys know that... <laughs> I run uh, a luxury uh, kind of vintage style shop. But what's funny about it, uh, once you tried it, once you had a lot of it, you kind of becoming, you really understand this is just for, um, you know, this is just a thing. But before you had it, before you have abundance of it, you you could be sometimes overly obsessed about it. once you got it you enjoy it but you know it's um, it brings joy but you don't put it as a huge value because you know what it is and uh, in some ways um, in some ways if you have a lack of something you have to come to abundance of it and then you can just enjoy it and, and not being overly like protective or overly obsessed about it because you just have it now. So that is uh, very interesting. Uh, I just want you guys to, to, to know what's behind it. And once again, we're talking about, you know, beautiful women that inspire others that put effort that are beautiful inside out uh that's what kind of women we're talking today about and karen is saying happy international women's day to you veronica thank you so much so guys any comments any comments or questions today i afraid that my uh, videos, oh, my comments sometimes are a bit late. They're delaying a little bit. So anyways, it's been a wonderful day. I have not, honestly, today I, I had the one time I talked with a friend on the phone. All the rest of the day I was running around like a wild squirrel. So right now I'm going to have some candles and tea and I'm going to look at my roses and just meditate. You know, it's like one of those days, guys, this is what real women do. They, they, they take care of stuff. So I guess uh, there's a little bit of a celebration and leisure time um, possibly will happen tomorrow. I'm going to take a bit time tomorrow just to, uh, I don't know, call my family. I hadn't even called my family today. It's, it's just part of life. It's a uh, women on the go. <laughs> um, Gina had to have a good flight. Have a great flight on Saturday and have an awesome trip in, in Egypt. Please let us know how it's going for you, okay? When you can. The time in Ukraine and the time in Egypt, uh, Egypt is fun, um, beautiful sea. You know, one thing I want you to make sure you do is you put a snorkel mask 
and you go just even right near the beach you you put your mask you have to see that you don't even have to to do the the whole um dive in the official suit just a snorkeling mask and put your head in the water it's absolutely spectacular it's, it's like it rocked my world uh egypt uh sharm el sheikh used to have a lot of uh foreign italian german english people but uh, un- unfo- unfortunately with all these events m- many european people are uh, kind of canceled their flight because of all that but it's very low it's extremely low in price right now and um you can take the benefits it's like you basically go to another ukraine because most of people right now are ukrainian great hotels incredible water and what a great experience you're gonna have i'm i wish you to have the best time and we will hear and wait for your report yes so i just want to thank you everyone um i want to uh, thank you guys for supporting for being active followers for your feedback one thing guys that totally um have been just like giving me so much inspiration and joy is to actually receive in a precise uh kind of specific feedbacks and things i do and you know i receive letters from people saying um uh, that they they s- sometimes <laughs> it's so funny but I, i received some letters with guys saying that they can sometimes watch my videos like eight to twelve hours i i could not do that but that you there is something therapeutic in my voice or is it inspiring or you're getting some ideas that somehow your life gets a little bit better you 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 know you feel better maybe you just look at better things but one thing i want you to know that yes maybe uh the only reason the only reason uh why all the things are happening for you and your life is improving uh is because you are ready for it i can uh give all the message i want but if you are not ready if you are in resistance mode nothing will happen so it's our cooperation and collaboration this is not just me that's what i want to say and here is one young man want to add something i just want to say something Come really here. quick about those eight to twelve guys watchers I just want to say really th- something really quickly. I could barely watch your videos for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that was very kind, Ruslan. I-, I appreciate that. I know, man. Uh-huh. A plus compliment material, man. Thank you. <laughs> Happy <laughs> happy women's day. <laughs> Thank you guys. Well, it's kind of weird when I tell you happy women's day it makes no sense. So I'm going to say happy 8th of March because 8th of March it's it's 8th of March. Well, yeah, but I was saying the sort that you know when you find a book or you find the speakers that you love or you maybe go in the nature and you find inspiration, yes that is an inspiration taken from that resource taken from uh that person but you are the one that process information so uh it means you are ready it means you're open it means you are uh you are making that change because somebody could do great things for you countless times and you will still process kindness in a negative way unfortunately uh it happens you can be so kind to a person you can be um empathetic 
uh, you can open their heart and they still will find something wrong with you and they still turn things around and um, happiness and joy is the only how we process information one person looks in the rainy day and feel cozy and um, uh, kind of have this happy feeling you know that it's raining maybe goes under the rain and feeling the warm rain in summer and have fun and and stuff like that another person is um, looking at the rain and see grayness and looking in the puddle and see the puddle and not seeing the sky so I'm making this remarks guys because your connection you know the connection I have been getting back was really absolutely wonderful and I want to apologize to those guys when I sometimes don't answer your message or don't answer your comment I want to reassure you I see all of the comments and all of the messages sometimes I'm driving Sometimes I'm taking care of my son. I'm doing other things, so I'm not uh, not answering because um, for any other reason. It just I'm trying to get things done. But I see all of the messages, and if you hadn't got a reply for me or a like, please know that you always make my heart smile. So a lot of gratitude coming from you guys from here. So. Uh, I wish you a wonderful week, weekend, almost, yes. Or oh, thank you, Billy. Billy's saying that, uh, well, thank you. The I won't read the, the first part, but the second part is the day isn't complete without your message. You know, this is so interesting because I, I didn't make life for two or three days. And I felt that my day isn't complete without coming out and communicating. And just, because there is something about it that, that just really adds light. It's, I believe it's an exchange. So I totally felt like yesterday I felt, oh my gosh, I, I have to come out and give some, you know, co connect with you guys. Uh, my son was not feeling well for a couple of days. So, um, he was the priority number one and I feel that I feel good about myself when he's taken care of first um, so I hope you understand that because otherwise I would feel hypercritical so he I was focusing on my young man but everything is going a lot better and I'm very grateful guys my day isn't complete without you as well and I hope you've learned a little bit, maybe understand a little bit more about the, the whole gift culture, the, the 8th of March. Look at it as fun, as celebration and inspiration because uh, I think there is nothing like inspiring, cheerful, beautiful, feminine woman around. Well, maybe just an inspiring, cheerful, handsome man. <laughs> Thank you, Logan. And guys, have a wonderful night. And I will probably see you over the weekend. Thank you.